I'm respecting your privacy by knocking, but asserting my authority as your father by coming in anyway! Looks like this is another one of those episodes where Steven looks like a tiny baby man. It's a little jarring when you go from Steven floats where he has normal looking limbs to this mess. The way that the animation of Steven pushing this cart works with the background here looks off. You'd think there'd be a bit of bumpiness after the cart rolls from the pavement to this uneven dirt, but nope. It makes it look like the grass is painted brown or something. If he wants to muh, muh, muh so much about it, he doesn't have to come. That was not at all the issue he had with you DJing, but okay. With how close the camera was in that last shot, this bus should be a lot closer than it actually is here. You mean your rotten old manager? I'll protect you, Dad! Don't worry, I got a hose. Sorry, Mr. You. I totally clogged up your toy. Why would you point away from where the bathroom is when you're referring to clogging the toilet? When did you get so tall? Like nine years ago. Whoa. <laughs> hmm. With how skinny Greg's head looks in this shot, he looks even more thumb-like than usual. Marty's eyes are black in this shot, when in the next shot and throughout the rest of the episode, they're blue. Just getting ready to set up for this semi-annual DJ night rave thing I do in Beach City. Do you really need to put that much detail into your explanation of what you're doing? I've decided to hang out in Beach City and, um, make up for lost time with you. And while we're chillin', I'll promote your little engagement. How does Sour Cream not see right through this? Seriously, his father was out of his life for nine years. When he does show up again, it doesn't even seem to be for him. He makes up excuse after excuse for being gone so long. I'd assume Vidalia would have mentioned her disdain for Marty at least once in the almost decade he's been gone, right? So surely some red flags would be ringing in Sour Cream's head when not even a minute after meeting up again, Marty immediately starts talking business with him. Not to mention later on he gets super Super controlling of the event, yet Sour Cream just lets him do it. Look, even Steven isn't buying this shit, and he's probably the most naive person here. What kind of cord is plugged into this Game Boy here? A power cable? The regular Game Boy's power cable looks closer to a laptop charger than it does this kind of cable. In fact, this kind of power cable looks like one from a Game Boy Advance, so the real question to ask might be what kind of Game Boy is this? Steven looks like he's about to activate the suction protocol here. What kind of horrible advertisement marks the location as at beach? I don't know if Marty's just trying to advertise to the locals or what, but that's so incredibly vague either way. What beach where? Give us some kind of general direction or location. Specify! Let me rap with you about the setup I have envisioned, okay? Okay, I know his lingo is supposed to be out of touch and cringy, but let me rap with you about is on such a higher level of dumb that I think I have to take off a sin for nailing the prompt. These handles look like stickers. They have no depth to them whatsoever. Just a humble roadie doing a mic check. This mic looks great. Whoa! Yeah! It's some guy! To a brand new soda! What? Wa-cola! How the fuck did he manage to hide this entirely from Sour Cream? Or I guess the more important question is, how did Sour Cream not notice any of the signs that there was going to be some kind of sponsor here? Did he not get a look inside the bus? Did he just not look at the stuff under the tarp and assume it was a speaker or something? Because honestly, that's one hell of a miracle that he just didn't look at any of the several signs. This is terrible! What the- from concentrate? Isn't most soda made from some kind of concentrate? Hell, I'm pretty sure most soft drinks are made from concentrate, so I doubt that's actually the problem. I know I might be overthinking this, but the fact that Steven is seemingly attributing the soda's terribleness to it being made from concentrate is strange, considering that a lot of drinks are made from the stuff. I only came here because I'm legally obligated to give you this. If that was the only reason, then this was a gigantic as fuck sidetrack. I don't know if he was planning on doing something here anyway and just roped sour cream into it on a whim, but since that wasn't really explained, this whole thing feels a little contrived. Considering how fast Yellowtail is going here, it's a miracle any of the DJ equipment he's carrying doesn't get absolutely drenched. <laughs> Why is this part so much louder than the rest of the episode? Seriously, the volume jumps up like six decibels in my editing software. Has the Crooniverse heard of audio normalization?
This video is sponsored by Gua Cola, the only soda made from three whole avocados. Die, you sell out, motherfucker! Hey, wait, what are you doing here? Wait, no, 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 no!